Hey guys, we're gonna look at this Ford Simulator. It's gonna be pretty cool. Welcome to Ford Motor Company Electronic Showroom. You are about to explore 1992's exciting lineup of cars and trucks. Learn about our line, explore specifications, features, and pricing. Test your driving skills with luck. Completely new driving simulator. Order our t-shirt and push spacebar to begin. Here we have the beautiful Mercury Cougar. We're gonna check out the model line. Starting at the top. We go up here on the menu. To the first car in our model line, which is the Ford Crown Victoria. Here we have a beautiful car. Look at the spokes on those wheels. It comes in different colors. Dark maroon, navy blue, light blue, and the black. Here, let's check out the profile. The base price range is $19,000 and $563, all the way up to the more expensive model at $23,832. This is a four door, you can take a maximum of six passengers, it has a rear wheel drive and a 4.6 liter V8 engine. So here we're talking power. It has a four-speed automatic and a sizable trunk of 20.6 cubic feet. The fuel economy is 19 and 27. Heading on to the next vehicle. We have a nice little Nice little car right here. Actually, it looks like my car. This is the Ford Festiva in white. Very clean indeed. Let's check out the profile. The base price range, very affordable. $6,941 or the top model is $7,980. The body style is a two-door only, four passengers, a front wheel drive, 1.3 liter four cylinder and a five speed manual transmission. Cargo capacity is an incredible 26.5 cubic meter feet. The fuel economy is 35 over 41, so great fuel economy here. Moving on to the next car. We have, oh, look at that beauty a Ford Mustang. That color is magnificent. Wouldn't you love to drive that car? Let's check out its profile. It comes at a base price range of $10,215 up to the top model, which is $20,199. Body style comes in two door, maximum four passengers, drivetrain, rear wheel drive. The engine is a 2.3 liter four cylinder and also comes in a five liter V8. So you get some real power. This transmission is a five speed manual transmission only. So you can get out on the road and speed on. Cargo capacity is 6.4 to 12.2 cubic feet. The fuel economy for the two motors is 17 over 24 and 22 30. You get pretty good fuel economy here as well. Heading on to the next car. We have the Ford Escort. That's a nice color. Don't you agree? Let's check out the profile. Base price range is a very affordable $8,355 or $11,933. The body style, either a two or four door or even a four door wagon. Maximum passengers is five, drivetrain, front wheel drive, the engine, two styles here. We have the 1.9 liter four cylinder and a 1.8 liter four cylinder. Transmission is five speed manual and a cargo capacity is mind blowing. 35.2 or even 66.9 cubic feet. That's a lot of space, guys, a lot of space. City highway fuel economy is 2631, 32, 40. Going on to the next car, the Ford Tempo. Here we have a very nice looking car, nice rounded edges. It has a very nice look to it, very modern. Let's check out the profile. 
Base price range is $9,987 up to $12,800. The body style is both two and four door, maximum passenger is five, drivetrain, front wheel drive, engine is 2.3 liter four cylinder and a three liter V6, so you get some power there too. Transmission, five speed manual, and a great cargo capacity of 13.2 cubic feet. Fuel economy is 28, 20, 21, 28 and 23, 33. Good fuel economy. Here's the Ford Probe. Here's a sports car with a really sleek design and a snazzy color. Let's check out the profile. Base price range is $12,257 to $14,857. Body style, two door, maximum passengers four, drivetrain, front wheel drive, engine, 2.2 liter four cylinder and a three liter V6. Transmission five speed manual with an amazing cargo capacity of 19.1 cubic feet. Fuel economy, very well. Very good fuel economy also on this car. Moving on, we have the Ford Taurus. Now this is a beautiful four-door sedan. Look at that color, isn't that beautiful? How the light shines on it, it looks magnificent. Let's check out the profile. Base price range is $14,980, $23,839. Body style, four-door or four-door wagon. Maximum passengers, five to six, with eight optional in the wagon. You can fit a whole family in that car and more. Drivetrain, front-wheel drive, engine, three-liter V6 and 3.8-liter V6. Transmission, five-speed manual, four-speed automatic. Cargo capacity is 18 cubic feet or in a whopping 45.7 cubic feet on the wagon. Fuel economy is 1826, 2029. Great fuel economy. Here we have the Ford Thunderbird. Let's check out the profile. Price range is $16,354, $22,046. Two door, maximum passengers is five. Rear wheel drive, 3.8 liter V6, five liter V8. We have some real power here. Transmission, four speed automatic and a five speed manual. And not only that, you even get a whopping great 15.2 cubic feet of cargo capacity. Ah, look at this beautiful van, Ford Aerostar. That's a nice looking van. Let's check out the profile. Base price range is $13,379 up to the $21,636. Body style? utility and window van so you can all use you can also use this as a work van and you can fit a maximum passenger seven it has rear wheel drive engine three liter v6 four liter v6 so a powerful motor here also transmission five speed manual the cargo capacity is incredible 135.5 cubic feet and the fuel economy is very well indeed Moving on to the Ford Bronco. Now this is a beautiful SUV, don't you agree? Look at those hubcaps. That is some solid steel, shining steel metal. Great looking car. I love the maroon and the orange combined. And then you have the orange headlights. This is the full package. And check out the extra wheel on the back. Isn't that a nice feature? Let's check out the profile. Base price range is $18,852 to $23,201. This is an expensive car, but it's worth it. The body style is 4.4. Utility, there's a four wheel drive. Maximum passenger six. The engine, 4.9 liters V6 and a five liter V8. Got some real power here. Transmission is five speed manual and the cargo capacity is 101.4 cubic feet. That is big. The fuel economy is also good for this engine. Moving on, we have the Ford Explorer. Now this is a very modern looking, sleek SUV. Very cool rims and a nice design. Let's check out the profile. Base price range is $15,854 up to $23,553. Body style is a two or four door or four 
uh, four times two and four by four recreation. Maximum passengers is five with six optional. You have a rear four wheel drive and the engine is four liters V6. Five speed manual. Car capacity of 42.6 cubic feet. Fuel economy, also very good. The Ford Ranger, your workman's truck. It's a nice truck indeed. Let's check out the profile. Base price range is very affordable, starting at $8,733.30 up to $13,345. Body style is a 4x2 or 4x4 pickup. Maximum passengers is 3, 5 with the super cab option. Drivetrain, rear four wheel drive. Engine is 2.3 liter, 4 cylinder, or a 3 liter V6. Transmission is 5 speed manual. Car capacity 37.4 cubic feet, up to 43.5 cubic feet. And the fuel economy is 18, 23, and 23, 28. Next, go on to the next car. Oh, here we have the Ford F Series. Now that's a serious truck. Check out those wheels. Check out those rims. They got some serious, serious wheels on this one. Nice brown color. Let's check out the profile. Also very affordable, starting at $10,366 up to $15,021. It's a pickup. Maximum passengers is three, five with the super, the super cab option. The drivetrain is a rear four-wheel drive. The engine is a 4.9 liter V6, or you can get the five liter V8 for some extreme power. Transmission is five-speed manual. And the fuel economy is 1519. Next vehicle. Here we have the Ford Club Wagon. Now this is a car or a wagon that you can fit a lot of people into. It's a good looking van. Base price range is $16,740 to $24,720. Body style is a passenger van. Maximum passengers is 7, 8, 12, or 15. Drivetrain, rear wheel drive. Engine, 4.9 liter V6. Transmission is three speed automatic. Car capacity, not available. And the fuel economy is 14 over 17. Moving on, we have the Mercury Capri. This is a snazzy little sports vehicle. Let's check out the profile. The profile here is says we have a base price range of $14,452 up to $17,250. Body style, two door only. National passengers, four. Front wheel drive, 1.6 liter, four cylinder, five speed manual transmission, and a car capacity of 6.2 cubic feet. And also we have a very good fuel economy. Moving on. We have the Mercury Sable. Let's check out the profile. Base price range of $16,418 up to $18,395. Body style four door or four door wagon. Maximum passenger six, front wheel drive, three liter V6 engine. Four speed automatic transmission. Car capacity, 18 cubic feet up to a really big 45.7 on the wagon. Here we have a nice car, the Mercury Cougar. Let's check out the profile. Base price range is $16,640 to $22,054. Comes in two doors, maximum passenger is five. Drivetrain, rear wheel drive, engine, 3.8 V6, five liter V8. So we have some really big power here. Transmission, four-speed automatic with a great car capacity of 15.2 cubic feet. So this car here has a lot of power. Moving on, we have the Mercury Topaz. Looking at the profile, you see that this car starts at an affordable $10,512 up to $12,057. It comes both in a two and four door. Maximum passengers five, front wheel drive, Engine is 2.3 liter four cylinder and a 3.0 liter V6. Five speed manual transmission. Car capacity 13.2 cubic feet and 12.9 on the four door. Here we have one of the beautiful cars in the Ford lineup. We have the Mercury Grand Marquis. Look at that color, beautiful. Look at the spokes on the wheel, beautiful. 
Look at the front grill. Beautiful. Look at the windows. Shining beauty. It also comes in a lot of colors. We have brown, maroon, lighter maroon, gray, light blue, navy, black, gray, and a very stylish white. Beautiful car, beautiful car. Looking at the profile, we have a base price range of starting at $20,216. Body style, four door only, six passengers maximum, rear wheel drive, and a really strong motor, 4.6 liter V8, four speed automatic, 20.6 cubic feet cargo capacity. Great car, great car. Moving on, we have the Mercury Tracer. Now this is a cool looking car. Very sporty, but a four door, so it's also practical. Checking out the profile, we see that we have a base price range starting at a very affordable $9,773 up to $12,023. The body style is a four door and a four door wagon. Maximum passenger is five. Drivetrain is front wheel drive. Engine is eight, 1.8 liter, four cylinder. Transmission is only five speed manual. Car capacity is 12.1 cubic feet and a really good 30.6 cubic feet on the wagon. That's a cool car. Here we have the Lincoln Continental. A classic car, very stylish. I love that white line that goes along the whole car. You have very nice bumpers and spokes on the wheel. Let's check out the profile. Base price range. This is an expensive car, but it's worth the money. $32,263 up to $34,253. Body style is four-door only. You can fit six passengers in here. We have a front-wheel drive and a 3.8-liter V6. This transmission is four-speed automatic, and you get a great trunk size, 19 cubic feet. Moving on, we have the Lincoln Mark III. Now, this is a beautiful car. Very stylish. I love how the back end kind of swoops down. Very beautiful car. Nice, powerful front grille and, of course, spokes on the wheel. Great car. I love that line in the middle there. Let's check out the profile. Base price range is $32,032. It's a two-door, five maximum passengers. It's a rear-wheel drive and a really powerful motor. This motor here is a five-liter V8. Transmission is four-speed automatic. Car capacity, very good, 14.2 cubic feet. Moving on, we have the Lincoln Town Car. Now this is a nice luxury car. Let's check out the profile. Price range is $31,211 up to $36,340. Body style, four-door only. Maximum passengers is six. Drivetrain is a rear wheel drive. The engine is powerful, 4.6 liter V8. Transmission is four speed automatic. And the car capacity here is really good, 22.3 cubic feet. Moving on, we have the Ford Crown Victoria. Nice spokes on the wheel, nice black design, very nice. Let's check out the profile. Base price range. This is a more affordable luxury sedan starting at $19,563 up to $23,832. Four door only. Maximum passengers is six. It's a rear wheel drive and the engine is powerful. 4.6 liter V8. Transmission is four speed automatic. And you get great cargo space with 20.6 cubic feet. You can tell the trunk is very big just by looking at it. Moving on. We have a nice little car here, the Ford Festiva. Look kind of like the car that I have, actually. Let's uh, check out the profile. Very affordable car, starting at $6,941, up to $7,980. It's a two-door only, maximum passengers is four. Front wheel drive, 1.3 liter, four cylinder. Transmission is five speed manual. And this car actually has great cargo capacity with 26.5 cubic feet. And the fuel economy is amazing. Moving on. Next. Next part of this game here is actually a driving simulator. So let's head into that. Lake Wakataka, fun, sound. 
Note, without sound, you won't hear the cops sneaking up behind you. So watch out. <laughs> Better have the sound on so the cops don't get me. All right. Level beginner. Yeah, I don't want it to be too hard. Let's begin the game. You're about to head off for that annual trip to Lake Wakatonka. We've arranged with Ford to take one of their new cars for a special weekend drive. And you get to choose your car here. Star indicates automatic transmission. Well, I'd rather do that because it's a lot easier. Especially on a game here. It can be tricky driving cars on games. Which car are we going to drive? Well, I would like a fast car. Tracer. Mercury Tracer. Let's choose that one and head on to the road. Here we are at the Ford dealership showroom. And we're heading out onto the road. You're on the road, ready to go. The objective is to get to Lake Wakatanka as fast as possible. So let's look at the controls and head on out. Here we go. Just gotta drive careful, not crash into anything. Oh, there's some uh, gas, map safe food. We gotta get a map. So let's stop there and get a map. Here we are. Driving up to it right now. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I crashed into it. Well, maps are sold here. That's what I need. I need a map. After filling up, you have one dollar left. What would you like to buy? Well, I'm really hungry. I'm gonna get a candy bar. Just kidding. <laughs> need the map. Map of the region. What? I can't choose the map? Wait. How do I get onto the map here? This At any time you want to look up on your map, press F2. Okay, let's look at the map. Right now, we started there. Got to go to Lake Wekatonka right here. So the fastest way to get there is to drive. I guess we head down to Jude, Nateland, and then go past Lake Skinny. So we're to Jude, Jude. And then to Nate Lent. Jude to Nate Lent. Let's go. Let's drive fast. Just watch out for the cops. Stay on the road. You don't crash too bad. A lot of windy roads out here. Got the cops. Sure. Nice drive out here on the countryside. Flowers in the background. Nice windy roads. Now we're in Jude. Keep heading on to the next city. Was it uh, Nateland? Yes, it was. Let me just double check the map just to be 100% sure. Yes, heading down to Nateland. Heading into a city. Looks like a big city. Looks like New York City. Oh, there's the cops. Oh, I clocked you going three miles over the limit. I really hate to do it, but I'm going to have to write you a ticket. Oh, no. How much is it going to be? Let's keep going. What is the speed limit here, anyway? Tailgating this guy. There's a tree in the room. Right around it. Heading into a little town here, or city rather. Nice little city. Let's speed up here. Cops, they caught me again. Four miles over the limit. Grab me another ticket then. Now we're 
hundred eight limbs. Let's check the map. Next, we gotta go Lake Skinny once we leave Nate Lent. Lake Skinny. I can't wait to get to Lake Wakatonka. It's gonna be nice and relaxing. Can't wait to string up a hammock and read a book later sit by the campfire really marshmallows just gotta get there first stay on the road drive safely I'd like to pass this truck yep past him nicely Cops in sight. Rolling down the highway. Close call. Oh, careful. Nice little city here, Lake Skinny. A lot of trees, beautiful place. Where do we go next? Next, we gotta head on to. Go to Carl's. Heading over to Carl's. Here we go. Leaving Lake Skinny. It's a nice little town. After this swing, we're going to drive by this truck. Byville, and then we're almost at Lake Wakatonka. Wakatonka. 
whenever I have a chance. Pass these brooks. Waka yet? Not quite yet. We'll be there really soon. And Revival. Nice modern city. Also some nice old architecture here also. Next stop, Lake Wakatanka. Ah, we're back in the countryside. Countryside, indeed. Flowers all around us. As you can see, I'm pretty anxious to get there. Speeding like a demon. Congratulations, you made it! Your car is the Mercury Tracer LTS. Your time was 16.59 seconds. Would you like to play again? No thank you, I'm just happy to be at Lake Wakatonka. So here we are. This was the Ford Simulator 3. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this stuff. I have newer versions of the Ford Simulator coming up later 90s models so you can be guaranteed that the graphics are going to be a lot better and more exciting maybe even some music in-game music that is so subscribe to let's play them games and i will see you guys in the next one <laughs>